Hi guys, welcome back to Rome Total War Remastered, where we are continuing our Let's Play as the Scipii Romans. Doesn't this music just put your nostalgia glasses on for you? It's so, so good. It has got to be one of the best... Um, Can't move apparently. Um, one of the best soundtracks I've ever heard for a Total War game. It is fantastic. Now, last episode we took Syracuse pretty easily. Uh, we took uh, Lily Byam and we fought on the slopes of Mount Etna, an army with elephants, and we defeated them. That was a bit of a sketchy close battle, though. And we took Carolus, of course. Uh, not Salamis, as I was calling it last episode. Now, thanks for the response for last episode, guys. It was brilliant. So if we could get up to 10 likes on this video, that would be amazing. And thank you for all your brilliant responses. Now, let us continue. You guys, where was I sending you? Probably back to Masana as well. Two turns, though, is a long time. We don't really want to wait around too long to take... Carthage. We might send you guys. Uh, we were going to send you across to uh, Palma, then maybe Cordoba, and we'll really, really put the hammer on the Carthaginians if we do that. We can bolster our ranks with mercenaries. Now, can we get any mercenaries this turn? No, we can't. That's fine. But I believe we are at the end of a turn, so let us go. First of all, let's just check we're building everywhere. Oh, Lily Byam, we're not building. Why are we not building in Lily Byam? Let's go with... Oh, we need a port first before we can get the the good trident that we're going to get in Sicily, just so that we can get good uh, good navies here. So let's go with the roads. Only one turn it takes, and it will do a hell of a lot of difference. Um, yeah, we are going to go and try and trade with Spain. Because if we do take Cordoba... Um, we don't want the Spanish attacking us straight away. That would be very annoying. I know I said I didn't really want to go to Spain. I wanted to go to Egypt. But with this army... Oh, look. Carthage is pretty undefended. Where's our spies? There. Get yourselves in Lily Byam, guys. You guys back to Masana. You guys to Masana as well. And while we're retraining these guys, we might as well train some more some more equites and we'll have an absolutely beastly army one that no one can really stand against agent found in lily by carthaginian agent britannia and gaul are at war already wow oh that's interesting oh let's go down to the bottom of the map there but yes let's get everyone out of here apart from some hastati unless we can recruit oh we can fantastic get you out as well then They'll be unhappy for one turn, but it won't matter. You guys, let's get you across to Palma. And we will have a very large army ready to go straight across to Carthage very soon. Can we recruit anything here? Oh, we can recruit some Astarte, so we might as well. We'll have a very army, an army full of Astarte, which, mm, as I say, Astarte break very easily, but... Apart from that, they are decent troops. If you've got good generals, they should do well. Um, we are making a lot of money now, so that's great. Masana, we got the population growth. Now let's get the trader. Get some more money. Carolus. Hmm. Don't really want those shrines. Well, if we're going to get any of the shrines, we'll get the law one. Do we have any? I don't believe we'll have corruption there, but it's okay. And then Lily Byam, let's go for the port. Get that sea trade roaring. Absolutely roaring. Um, you guys can't move. You guys are still here. Fantastic. Let's end the turn again. Quick couple of turns. And then we will go after Carthage, I promise you that. Very aggressively. Now, we're probably being a slightly bit too cautious, but 
If we're going to take... If we took uh, Gaius' army across, we would go for Carthage straight away. But we're not going to take his army across. We're going to go for Palma. It's a nice little island. It also reduces the Carthaginians down even more. No Senate offices after I've done all of this for you. You fools! Capo has got a trader. Um, well, next thing... Next, let's get the market so that we can get um, an academy. I'll go for that in Carolus. Carolus needs to grow, really. And they are happy after they got their peasant back. Yes, fantastic. And then again, quick three turns. A bit too quick, in my opinion, but oh well. Yes, the first battle. That He's just a general. Uh, we have got our own general. And you are trash. So we should, we should do reasonably well against these guys. Now, they might try and run their slingers away, which will be annoying. Their general can still do a lot of damage, as we saw in that battle on the slopes of Mount Etna. Uh, against the elephants. There, Hanno, with his 45 General's Bodyguard, did a lot of damage. Too much damage. And we don't really have any effective um, units to fight against him. Um, interesting that we don't start with Triarii. I believe the Julii definitely start with Triarii. Do the Brutii, though? The snooty Brutii? And everyone knows my feelings on the Brutii. Fuck the Brutii. So, I don't care whether they start with Triarii. But we don't. Which is always interested me. Why do they get the Julii to start with Triarii and not us? Maybe because the Senate likes... No, the people like them more, don't they? I, I don't know. Listen. Let's listen. By this time tomorrow, our sword arms will ache from overuse! Is that it, guys? Or... Well... Thank you, guys. I like your very short speeches. Hopefully, we don't lose many men in this at all. We also want to make sure Theodicles comes in to the battle. So, because if he retreats and withdraws, which they tend to do a lot in Rome Total War, um, he will escape and we won't take the city, which would be annoying. So, we'll wait. Also, get you guys all on that. We can reposition. Fantastic. We don't need to use all these troops, but we will. Just to spread the losses out pretty equally. We want to engage that general with our infantry and then charge him in the back. Because we're on very hard, very hard. So, obviously... One-on-one, um, -on -one we will lose against him. Yeah, Slingers. Slingers do, do a decent damage, actually. Are they armor-piercing? I can't quite remember. Do you know what? You guys, don't worry. You guys get in there. You guys get past. Let's go. Don't even need to f throw your javelins. Okay. Oh, you broke. They broke that Astarte straight away. That's it. Quite embarrassing. They're shaken. We'll get our general in here. Yes, we should do some damage. We, we have reduced the amount of units quite considerably. Get in there. Why do these battles always end up being a mess? Get out, general. You are losing. I don't want to lose you, Gaius. However much I hate on you, I don't want to lose you. Get in there. You guys get kill those guys. We should break these. Yes! Fantastic. I thought that was our general then. Gaius, we're going to have to get you out of here. You may die. Okay, so now he's dead. We can just focus on these guys. Everyone get in there. Oh my god, that was a mess. Why are all these battles turning into an absolute... Shit, f shit flinging fest, really. They should really just die so easily. Come on. The Belly Eric Slingers. 
I don't want this guy to die in a uh, in a charge, so we'll, we'll ignore how. Right, now we can go. Kill as many as you can. We need to kill them. Come on, quick, quick, quick. If they escape, I will be eternally annoyed with you. No, you just ran through them. Quick, quick, quick. Get into them. I think we'll be okay. It's going to be really close. Guys, get in there. It's going to be really close. That's why we've got to mop them up as much as possible. See, they're gen. You can see the Hastati, like how. Yeah, General did the most again. I know, close though with this Hastati unit. But you can see how effective their General's charges are. They're breaking our troops. Uh, but soon, when we have better generals with more influence, um, they will do a lot better. They will not rout as quickly. Of course, we will enslave. Get that lovely uh, spread of um, population growth around our cities. Uh, the only thing we can do here, then, is destroy that and build... We will have some law issues here, I believe. Yeah, corruption. You can see that corruption. So we'll reduce that corruption with our temple. Uh, Seleucids and Parthia are at war. No surprise there. Seleucids and Pontus have broken their alliance. Allies Scythia and Macedon. Weird alliance. Pontus and Parthia. That's a good alliance for Parthia. Well done, Parthia. Doing well. A construction report. Masana. Go for a market in Masana as well. Oh, maybe not because... Shrine to Neptune, and then Lily Bion will get the Shrine to Neptune as well, because that's all we can really afford. Now then, the big Astarte troops with the Equites. Um, get across there. How many ships do we have? That's what I'm going to do. Three. Can't see any Carthaginian ships around, but they might have some. So we probably will have to retreat if there is any issues with that. Hmm. Yes, fantastic. We've taken another city, Palma. Reducing Carthage even further. I believe Carthage will have Thapsus and this. They might have Serta. They have this one and this one. But we want to get rid of Carthage ASAP, really. Absolutely own them. Can't believe we lost so many troops in that battle. That was embarrassing. But, you know... What are you going to do against the general's bodyguard and you have no spearmen? Are we in Spanish territory yet? I'm not sure. You still want me to do that. I will do that once I've dropped my troops off, bro. Let's get here. These guys. Uh, we'll take the hoplites with us. We might as well. Don't want to drop them off here because I don't want them to... Uh, Die at sea, and we will blockade the port, and we can do a draw out battle. <laughs> Thank you, Carthage. Thank you very much. Ooh, Flavius. Flavius, how are you? Heartless ruler. So, Gaius's son, nonetheless. He's a political animal and he's command talent. What we will do with you, then, Flavius. Do we have money to buy a ship? Probably not. We will come and get Flavius and he will govern Carthage for us. Um, although he does say he has command talent, so he would be good as a commander. You are you are just trash though. Like in general, you're trash. Maybe your minus one morale, doubtful courage is not what we want in this army. How about Gaius? How are you looking in terms of traits at the minute? Sharp. Open-handed, authoritarian, and he's a night fighter, political. So he's got no bad traits, really. He is our best general currently. Um, wow, you've done this again. You've done this again. Um, yeah, not Gaius. Admiral Aulus. There we are. Why is it doing that? I don't know why it's doing that. It's a bit of a bug. Where do we go for first? Cordoba's got mines, so we'll probably want to go for that, really. Then, I can't remember the name of that settlement, but we'll go and take it. 
Palmer, you're still happy? Fantastic. Right. Let's look at what we recruited. Yeah, Palmer, some peasants. All right, Syracuse, we've got that. We don't have much money, so we can't buy everything that we want. Monetarily, that's what we need to focus on right now. Um, ooh, all population growth. I mean, sewers are always great. Now we've got to prioritize where we want. Oh, Carolus and Palmer can't build anymore, so we actually we do have enough money to build what we want. We'll go for Neptune again just to keep these guys happy because they are pretty unhappy at the minute. Still making money. That's fine. Made a little less profit this turn than we did last turn, though. That's one issue. You are not going to win that naval battle, I don't believe. But that's fine. Now, Espanola. Why are you telling me to go to Gaul? I don't want to do that. Where is their settlement? I, around here, I think. And then there's one around here. Um, it says it's Spanish territory still, so that's fine. Right, then the turn. That's a nearly full stack there, which is fine. Oh, okay, Carthage. Remove your troops from this area. That is fine by me. Take Carthage and we'll get a Triarii. What did we get for doing the uh, mission? They've just noted our efforts. See, this is why we f we hate you, fucking Senate. You pricks. Get that in there. You don't need to build it this turn, though. But that is nice to know. War with Egypt and Seleucids. So the Seleucids are just getting absolutely smashed by everyone, as usual. SPQR and House of Julii Gaul. Are we at war with Gaul, then? Um, probably. Right, Academy. We'll, we'll move... Flavius, once the, he's gone through the academy in one turn, just because it allows him a chance to get some traits, or some people, or some retinue. So we will do that. And we're making a bit more profit this turn. Annoying that they ran away. Ah, Libyan spearmen. Libyan spearmen are decent. And we have Hasbrodal. Yes, it's Hasbrodal. Go for sap points and then ladders. Because they have nice big walls here. Minor city, 13,000 people. A fantastic city to take early game. Ah, do you know what? We forgot to move our spy. So, we'll sit him out here just so that we try and remember. Right, let's come down here slowly. There's Carthago Nova. But I believe there is another city around here somewhere. If not, well, we'll just go. We've got one more turn to get to Carthago Nova. So, let's go. We'll try and get an alliance with the Spanish. We're both at war with Carthage, right? Um, let's have a look. Diplomacy. Well, they hate Carthage. Uh, where's diplomacy, though? Where do you find it? Diplomatic standing? Right. Carthage. Enemies. They're, they're trading with Spain, but it does look like Spain wants to attack them, so... That'll be good. That'll be fantastic. Right, guys. What do you have it? Mm, we don't need these peasants in here anymore. Uh, what's your upkeep? 164. I believe peasants are cheaper. 100, yep. Get rid of you. Still happy. Uh, and we'll leave you there because Cornelius will die very soon, probably. So, let us end the turn. So, we were a bit slower in terms of getting to Carthage, but now that we have that big army, we should have no problems taking this whole land very quickly. Thapsus is generally a very nice, strong settlement as well. Flavius has married. That's fantastic. Spain and Carthage. See, they are now at war. Ah, they're already sieging it down. And they have a large army. Right, I guess we'll go for this settlement then. 
Spain, you can have that. Spain, you deserve it, bro. I don't want to go to war with Spain just yet. Ah, yes, of course, Masana. We need to upgrade that. Syracuse. Go for something cheap. So we'll go for the Neptune. And Lily Bayern, we can't afford to build something. That's unfortunate. But we'll be able to afford to build something next turn. Right. You have been moved. You are there. Two more turns. Do you know what? We can go and pick up that spy, actually, and drop them across. Do we don't? No, we'll pick it up on the way. Pick him up on the way back. Right then. Let us siege down the eternal city of Carthage. I don't know why would you see a full stack banner army and move all of them, uh, all, the rest of your troops away, not put them in the city. That's silly AI. <laughs> well done, AI. Fantastic. Missile units are effective from range. Wow. <laughs> what are these tips, man? Some of them are just crazy, like dumb. Like, just dumb. Okay, yeah. Missile units are effective at range, but vulnerable in close combat. Wow. Generally, our archers are trash as the uh, as the Romans until we get archer auxilia. Then they're really good. Gaul has very good archers late game, um, interestingly enough. But we will not probably not be fighting Gaul for a very long time. This is a fine day to be a Roman going into battle. What we'll do with Every Gaius, oh, we'll leave this. For a battle when your heart is set on doing your duty. Those overly proud men over there are the Carthaginians. They think they are our equals, our enemies. I think they are waiting to die. And draw strength from this fact. The enemy are so low that no ally can be found to support them. They cower behind their walls and pray for help. Their position is hopeless. The count of their troops pitiful. But remember that the base cur still has a bite. I have never lost a battle against these people. Why should I start losing now with men such as you at my command? Another victory is at hand. So let your battle cry put fear into the enemy's guts. Call out to them and be brave. Call to the heavens and let strength and honor be your watchwords today. Nice speech. Fantastic. Where's our things? They're there. They're not going to be able to defend a load of ladders going up onto the walls. So that's what we're going to do. We will send you up one. We'll send the archers up with another. We'll go through the middle. I like these type cities because you've got two ways into the town square immediately. Uh, we got the two generals. Those two generals should be enough to kill their general. But, of course, we want to be careful, as we spoke about previously. The general can just break our Hastati, no problem whatsoever. Get there, Hastati. You're going to go through the gates when we're ready. Equites. Yeah, nice. You're already in position. You guys get off that. We'll get you up on a ladder. We're going to need to pick up two. That's unfortunate. Got any more ladders? And oh, we've only got three sets of ladders. You guys can try and get there, but you're just there to stop the enemy from putting troops on these walls. Uh, where are they? Okay, there are ones in the town centre. Ones here. Fine by me. We don't use the sap points. We don't need to destroy the walls if we're not, if we don't want to. Velites, you, as soon as you're up on the walls, run through, please. I think we'll use our cavalry to our advantage and try and kill the our general with our cavalry. Because our cavalry the won't break. These equites. Morale of four, though, as well, which is trash, really. There's a starting morale of six. I thought they were morale of four. Could be. I'm obviously wrong. Obviously, miss. I remembered. Get through that gateway. Our soldiers have done well this get day. Round. The walls are taken. Let's get round. Now we're not going to flank anywhere, so we're not going to get shot by any of the towers. Orders to 
Okay, uh, Libyan Spearmen, if you want to do that, we will fire at you. No problem. Right then. They have the Spearmen, so uh, I think we'll only take take four Hastati and we don't need more than that. Uh, the generals can come as well, and the equites, of course. You guys walk, actually. Walk. Uh, put you down to normal speed. Yeah, they're routing already. First things first, set you guys up. Two on this side. Of course, you can fire at will. Fire at will as well. Two on this side. Uh, you guys can run now. Try and bait them. You guys get up there. You guys get up here. What we need to do is get our cavalry up into the square as quick as possible, really. So, speed things up a little bit. Come on, cavalry. You can get through that gate. <laughs> I promise you, you can. If elephants can get through, you can. Okay, they're going to charge. If they charge into those as starting, they might break them, which would be annoying. But, on the other hand, you are starting to get in there. You guys get down here. Okay. Nice one. Baiting the general. You guys, get, you guys, I want you to fire your javelins into the general if you can. Need to tie these Libyan spearmen up. I know it's annoying fighting on the town square. You guys get around. Okay, they're going to break those and start him very likely. But we need to charge them in the back. Charge them. Come on. That Equites will get you out. Yeah, I told you that Hastati was going to break. You guys get in there. Get into these Libyan spearmen if you can. This general, we need you out of there. Don't want you to die just for no reason. Although we should. Yeah, there's only three of their general bodyguard left. There we are. Yes, if in doubt, squish them all to death. <laughs> Cavalry, just get you out. Come this way. Uh, Facts. We go that way. Watch your start here, mate. Taken. Yeah, cavalry, we don't want you fighting these guys. Right, now it's just a grind fest against the Libyan Spearmen, which we should win. Very easily. How many did we lose, though? 12%. They still killed 131. It's quite annoying, really. The starty, yeah, killing. 30, oh no, that's because she's sustained. This Velite is 45, well done. And the Roman Arch is 31. Yeah, Equites. We should be able to retrain most of these guys here, so. Ah, well, easy pickings, Carthage, fantastic. Now we've got a big army, we should be able to go to Thapsus. And then we'll go for Serta, I believe. So, as I was saying about Gaius, before I rudely interrupted uh, the speech, well, and Slave, of course. That should mean Capua has some nice um, slavery, plus 1%. So we need to get that up and up and up until it's uh, really high from slavery, from enslaving all these settlements. Yes, yeah, so we can retrain everyone. But it'd be nice to be able to recruit Princapes. Because I bet... Uh, no, they got the same morale. But yeah, better armor... Just better in general. So, yes, we'll recruit a... No, we'll recruit a peasant. We need to move on from Carthage ASAP. In fact, can we move now? We leave the Velites behind because they're useless. You on low. Oh, you're happy. Now, let's not get that then. Let's recruit a Princapes instead. Now, what buildings do you have? You have this. Mm, we can... Oh, can we afford to destroy that yet? Probably not, but they're not going to—they're not going to rebel because we're getting under the unit, and that'll be fine for them. 
So, let's get Rhodes, of course. Oh, we were going to retrain these guys. Yeah, let's retrain them. We might as well. We're here. While we're here, then we'll go on to Thapsus. Now, when's that building? Uh, two more turns. Ages. Still there. Can I be of service? I will address them at once. Alliance. Trade rights. Map information. Form map information. Still generous. A most generous Yes, proposal. fantastic. Of course, we will declare war on Spain at some point soon. But we might as well take that while we can. And it'll stop them attacking us for some time anyway. Get, cool. Get uh, Gaius out of there. The best general we have, really. We got a Triarii at the capsule, so we'll bring them across as well. Once we've retrained these guys, yeah, we'll uh, we'll move on. Syracuse, Masana, Lilibayam. Did we do all the construction that we could? Lilibayam doesn't isn't constructing anything. We've got six hundred gold, enough to build a farm. Fantastic. And they have elephants. I wish, as Romans, we could recruit elephants. But then again, the Romans would be very OP at that point. Very OP. Ridiculously OP. While we are waiting, we will recruit two more ships. Just to bolster that navy. Yep, get up there. Right. Well, we've taken Carthage. Fantastic. Let's keep going. Got the roads. That is excellent. Namidia, what do you want? Dear friend. I don't want an alliance with you because I want to declare war on you soon. I'll give you map information. How do you feel A about most that? Generous yeah, proposal. I accepted it. Like giving them map information does nothing for us. Like it's not go it's not bad. Because the AI already oh, war dogs. I don't want war dogs. They're so annoying. Okay, give me fucking war dogs. I'll take the fucking war dogs, you fucking bastards. Oh, we train these guys. We can get an armor upgrade. Excellent. Well, at least we got some some uh, spearmen to kill their cavalry. Because as you've seen, the Hestati run away at the sound of hooves, basically. Parthia and Pontus already broken their alliance. Jesus. Thrace and Germania. Weird one. Pontus. Oh, Pontus. Do you backstab Parthia now, do you? You fools. The Seleucids are tasty morsels to dine upon. If you would if you wish to dine the Parthians on the other hand too far away for you to care get dining on the Seleucids don't be silly Macedon and Germania that Germania has been busy this turn they must have at least one diplomat out there then right very nice army ready to go still 61% uh, go for that then then what do we want in Carthage? I think we go for Vulcan in Carthage because it's going to become a... So Capua and Carthage are going to become a big recruitment center. So let's go for that. Right then. Go here. Just send you out to just uh, build some watchtowers. Fantastic. There's Thapsus. They've got a little army there as well. A little bit of an army in Thapsus and an army on the outside. I hope they go and stand next to the city so we can do a lovely, fantastic draw-out battle. Then we will go for Serta. They have the... Oh, that's still Rebel. Okay, so that is Namidia's um, area of interest. As I was going to say, what we're going to do with Gaius is go and take this settlement. Probably take Serta, march onto Domidi and take Nepte as well. While this army... Takes Lepsis Magna, which is Numidian as well. Um, Cyrene, Siwa, and moves on to Egypt. And we'll already be in the thick of it with Egypt, which is fantastic. Okay, somehow Spain got beaten. I guess the auto resolve was a bit too bad for them. So we will take Cordoba while we're, while we're waiting. How did you lose? How did you lose? You fools! Yes, fantastic. Um, construction report then. Carthage, yep, yeah, we've already started building again there. Recruitment report, yes, everyone retrained. Fantastic! Yes, excellent. 
And we're in a lot better position. Very nice position. The best position. Amazing position. Carolus is inactive, yeah, but we can't build here. Although they are getting some good population growth. I'm guessing part of that is from slavery. Yeah, only half a percent though, because they don't have a port. How are you now with slavery? Still 1%. Carthage. You're 1.5% at Carthage. That's annoying. Yeah, let's go. Come on, diplomat. Get on your travels, my friend. Ha! Ceasefire. No, that's your capital, right? No. Wait, let me see this. Uh, give region. No, give me Cordoba. I don't want your money. Oh. Regretfully, we must decline. Yes, well then, you are fools and you will die. You only have two units left. We're only like, I don't know, 10, 12 turns into the game and Carthage is nearly dead. <laughs> ah! Where are you? Wait, we won! Really? <laughs> wow, I can't believe that. Dacia and Gaul, okay. Ceasefire! Okay, I guess it's the Brutii, but that's fine. Yes! Flavius has got some management from that. He's got a philosopher. And he's a, yeah, he's a political animal. We will get him across the sea. He needs to be across the sea. While we're here, though, we need to pick up the spy. Oh, wait. I keep forgetting this. Go there so we can pick up the spy. Join us once again. Do we want Namidian cavalry? Not really. <laughs> it's trash. So, no. Ah, uh, two units of generals. going to be really annoying. You know what we should do? We should get those two units of Namidian cavalry. Just... Oh, you're still angry, Carthage. Um... Let's have a look at the details here. Squalor, distance capital, culture penalty, and unrest. Yeah, culture penalty from these buildings. So we need to start changing out some of these buildings. Do you know, we will get another peasant and hope that that does the issue. Where was the... Um Garrison plus fifteen percent from these two units, so it's probably only going to add another five percent, maybe. Uh, but that's good anyway. And so we're besieging down Thapsus. Let us do our building, and then we'll go into battle. Battle once again, making a lot of money now. It's so easy to make money in this game. It's silly. Um, right, I believe we should. Probably go for Vulcan. No. No, let's go for population growth. That's what we need most so that we can get post Marium units. Syracuse. Go for the market. Lily Bayum. Population growth, please. And Carthage is getting the temple. Why would you move that army there? It's That's a silly thing to do. But yes, Cordoba. Another general. Some round shield cavalry. That actually might be a bit of an issue. Have we seen? These guys hate cavalry. They hate fighting cavalry. Like, can they fight the cavalry, the Hastati? They're too scared. They're very scared of the cavalry. Absolutely shit scared of the cavalry. Um, but yeah, by the end of this episode, hopefully we will have destroyed Carthage, which is excellent. Fantastic. Love it. I love it, love it, love it. Let's listen. Carthage's army stands in the field. They are not worth fearing. They die as easily as other men. We go now to our bloody business. Is that it? That's so short. All his speeches are so short. Await my orders. Luckily. They've just got the shittest walls. Possibly. Only got one ram, but it, it's not going to get destroyed. Right, you guys in. We need to use our general. And all our uh, ammunition on these, uh, these boys. 
We're not going to get shot by any towers or anything, so not worry about that. I'm not going to worry about flanking round too much, because they probably will just stand on the town square. Yeah, bring your general down. I, I want to fight him down here rather than up there. Our soldiers are at the gates. Now they must Fantastic. Them Smash them down. Smash them to pieces, my friends. Fantastic. The enemy gate is down. Our battering ram has done its work. You guys should fire your uh, missiles now. And they might run. Oh, some are going up. Yeah, run like little pusios. Let's get there. Let's get here. Bring the general. Great gods. We won't separate the general this time. The walls are taken. Yeah, nice one. Oh, the general got involved. Cool. Don't need that to happen. Right. What we want to do is stagger the troops. Stagger them so that these guys behind can fire their missiles into uh, the general's bodyguard. And yeah, come on, guys. Come on. The, the pathing. Not the pathing. Ah. Yeah, I believe they will probably try and charge us with those round shield cavalry very soon. Be nice to have some hoplites here. Should have got some mercenaries, actually. I wonder whether they have some scutarii as mercenaries. Decent units. Decent ish, anyway. Yeah, they're going to charge those round shield cavalry, which is fine by me. Oh, the pathing. Come on, guys. That, that, that charge was trash, guys. Don't be shaking. Yeah, you're eager. Now we've just got to worry about the general's bodyguard because these guys are going to die very easily. 24. How are you breaking so easily? If these guys push... Like, these guys... Kill them. Right. Fantastic. Now we just need to worry about that general's bodyguard, which he may actually charge us. Could get a mass route of the Hestati, though, as we have seen. Right, you guys get out. You're just going to break. We'll bring you two up as well. Right, we'll stick you all on guard mode as well. Uh, you guys... I want a little bit of a gap because they just will just charge through us. Right, general, get in. Counter charging is never good. Right, you guys, you guys. I want general to rally. Need to grind these guys into oblivion if we can. You guys, fire your fire your things. Yeah, they're shredding these Astarte. We have killed 10 of them, though. Right, you two need to get involved. Because otherwise, there's going to be a mass route on our hands. Right, we have more general than their general's bodyguard now. So, a counter charge should be good. Let's go. Get in there. Oof, that might kill quite a few of our general's bodyguard units, maybe. Yes, he's broken. Let's go. Kill him. Kill him. Let's go. There. That's their king again because that's the issue with destroying factions so quickly. Oh. All right, let's just go. Charge. We didn't lose a single general bodyguard. We lost a lot of Hastati though. Come on, guys. Why are you just stood here? You're too busy celebrating. Oh, Theophanes the Honest. Well, honestly, you were annoying. But yes. Nice one, Hasati. 52. Doing a decent job. Hopefully, we can retrain these guys. I know at the start of the game, you can retrain Iberian infantry here as Carthage. So, I believe that means they have the militia gap barracks, probably. Hmm. Not just the shit one. Ooh, we might need to... Oh, we'll go for an enslavement. That keeps them reasonably happy. Destroy that. What mines do you have here? 200. Is that... That's not... Ah! They don't have a good barracks. So that's the first thing we're going to have to get. 
secondly, let's go in search of some mercenaries. Can't afford them. Right. These guys are not bad, the Spanish mercenaries. They're basically like Astarte. Yeah. Armor-piercing primary weapon. I never knew that. So they are actually decent. Gaius keeps these guys in check. Gaius has a body slave and a decorated hero. Plus one influence, uh, minus one security. So his influence is getting up there. So he has more influence over the battlefield now, which is fantastic. But yeah, we're going to be here a little while. But that basically means that Carthage is dead. Fantastic. Right, I believe that's the end of the turn. Not building there, right? Yeah, fantastic. Let's go. Let's go, Mr. Diplomat, all the way to Britannia. All the way to Britannia. Oh, who are you? Yes! Look at Horix! Wait, isn't that a guy from Asterix? A most generous proposal. Map information for map info. I'm not going to sell my... A most generous proposal. A most generous proposal. Thank you. I know it was. Right, we'll go for Germania then next. So we should be... Yeah, I believe that is one of our trade routes with Britannia. Not where it's going though. Probably to Carthage, eh? Let's have a look at that. Um, now, Lily Byam and Surtur... But it probably is going to come in soon, unless it's going straight to Lily Bayam. No, these are all the trade routes we have. We need to upgrade our port so we can get more trade routes. We will recruit a peasant here, maybe two, because when we leave, they're going to be very unhappy. Most advanced factions, Egypt, not us anymore, and, but we are the largest faction. The following factions now at war, Thrace and Dacia, the House of Brutia and Gaul. Germania and Scythia. Germania is just going out getting allies all over the place. Spain and Carthage have a ceasefire. That means Spain might declare war on us, but we are allies. Spain, go after Gaul rather than us, please. That would be annoying if you went after us. Right. Recruitment-wise, end of turn. And then construction. Masana, fantastic. Upgraded. Um, what do we want here? Probably... A shipwright. Yes, get that extra trade route. That would be fantastic. Can you get on the boat? That'd be nice. Uh, they do have some troops left. But they're going to die in, in the next battle, so... Yep, just them. It's going to be decently hard trying to take them down, but once we've taken Thapsis, they will be completely gone. They will just be rebel armies. We should probably mop them up, though, because they will cause a lot of devastation. Again, of course, we're going to listen to the lovely speech. The speech. This speech should be longer because the last one was Gaius. and We know Gaius. Oh, Gaius. And his short speeches. Oh, Gaius. Right, let's listen. This is a day of battle. While we stand together as Romans, we will not fear defeat. We will look forward to victory. Those overly proud men over there are the Carthaginians. They think they are our equals, our enemies. I think they are waiting to die. They stand alone. No friend has come to this place to die for them. Does this not say something about their honor? They're standing among nations? We are here to do one job. Prevent them from taking the town at all costs. We outnumber them by a large margin. But this may drive them to foolhardy defiance. Be careful. The enemy will undoubtedly try to slaughter us at a distance. We must charge home and stop their cowardly plan. I have never yet lost a fight against these men. I have no intention of starting today. So together, we will gain another victory. I have won many great victories for Rome. Be strong in that truth, and let this be one more. March on, and know that our victory is assured as long as we live and die like true Romans. 
Great! Fantastic! Once again. Now, this one we will try and flank them. We want to go in here. There's no towers around. No towers around anywhere. So, Hot Potatoes, you're going to be useful. Go for you. There. You can go here. They're not going to be able to shoot you. They will have Peltas, though. So, what we're going to do is get our Numidian mercenaries there. I thought we had some other Numidian mercenaries. No, we didn't get them, did we? We only need four rams. We don't need the rest. Also, you guys fire at will. Of course. Right. You guys... Uh, this isn't the best place, because... Still entering from the same way. Actually quite annoying. What we might do, then, is get our cavalry on this side. And one general's bodyguard, just to kill. He's got two general's bodyguards in there, so and they are, as we've seen, very strong. So we'll keep the main general this side, and the infantry force. Uh, yeah. It needs... Don't need you guys, do we? You archers, we could do with you, actually. They've got like mercenaries. If they've got these guys near the uh, thingy, Peltas will go and kill them. Namidians, let's go take you off skirmish mode. You guys come forward. You guys come forward. What are you? Iberian infantry will just fall or like fall to pieces, really. Be nice. We could probably get a good. Um, who are you firing at? Hopefully those infantry, aren't you? Yes, nice. Killing them. Nice. Shredding them. Right, you guys. Just come forward. You don't need to be back there. There's no towers to shoot you. They have trash walls here at Thapsus. I thought Thapsus, Thapsus is a large town though, right? Might be able to retrain these guys, so we shouldn't worry too much about losses. We'll be able to retrain them at Carthage before we go for Serta. We'll be at Cordoba for a little while, so. Right, you guys forward. You guys as well. Hoplites, you go through. Numidians come here. You guys actually get in and fight them. You will probably rout, but uh, you need to go and stop them from firing, please. Get off your skirmish mode. It's really annoying. Start to back them up, probably. Would be a good idea. General, we need you close. Who are you? Iberian infantry. You're going to face the wrath of the Hastati, my friend. See, the Midian's just breaking. They are shit. Get in there. You've got the general's bodyguard there, which is annoying. Come on, Hoplites. I want you to just come here. Those Peltas are fucking annoying, man. Right, we don't want to overload the amount of troops in here because it will become a mess. Stick you all on guard mode, I would say. Chase them. Okay, the Iberians have run away. We'll go and kill them. You guys... We have to run all the way around to there to get in the other way. Which is a bit silly, really. Okay, yeah, Hastati, nice one. Those skirmishers should die very easily. Don't get on guard mode, actually. Chase them, chase them down. Alright, archers, we want you to fire on their general. You guys get there. You three will bring the main force around that way. The other force around this way. 
bringing that Iberian infantry this way. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll get you guys all up there, please. You guys get them. What are you? More skirmishers. You guys get over here as well. Don't want to waste all that ammunition, really, on the skirmishers, though. That's the one thing. All right, hop the tails, get forward. You should be able to hold the... Hold... Oh, come on, Astarte. They are skirmishers, man. God, Astarte. Starting to think you're trash, man. Starting to think that you are trash. Fortunately for you. Get there, cavalry. Okay, here comes the general. Halt. Alright, general, let's go. Uh, not the archers. You guys, when you guys get there, I want you to fire your arrows. Fire your arrows, sorry, the old peeler. Both the general's bodyguards have come out to play. We'll get you out. You're Quintus, right? Quintus, yeah. We'll get you out. We'll get a rally in as well because we don't want these guys to break. Fire your freaking things, guys. Get out of there. What we need to do now is, is cut them off. Come on, guys. Let's get round. Where's my general's bodyguard? Oh, this is a, this is a grind fest, but we are starting to break them now, which is excellent. Uh, we need to set. Yes, here it here it comes. Get there, get there, get there. We will kill them if they if they try and get around this way. Yes, kill them all, kill them all. Yes, kill them all. Slaughter them. Van Dabby Dozy. I love it. Oh, you have just gone. You have just gone then. Okay. Right then. Well. Cavalry time. We don't really need any more starter units. Probably just... These guys can get up there. Oh my god, the hordes are coming. Kill these skirmishers. Get through, bros. Well done, Hastati. You formed well against that general, to be honest. I'll bring you guys up here. How are they? Oh, they are broken. I was going to say. Let's go. The horde of cavalry. The Roman cavalry comes. Let's get in there. Yeah, they all die now. They all die a painful, gruesome death. And when we enslave your people. Damn Carthaginians. Yeah, they still killed a fair amount. Well done. Bodyguard doing the most, though. The skirmish is 75, really. Wow, wow, wow. Ah, sorry, I should have... I meant to uh, click on ours as well. But I always forget to go back there. Annoying. But nonetheless, it's fine. Victory! Yes! Faction destroyed Carthage and we are on episode two. <laughs> uh, excellent. Excellent work, guys. Excellent work. Well done, Hastati. I know you are trash. But you uh, you make me happy sometimes. Now, we can retrain this Hastati. Have they got blacksmith then as well? Yes, everyone can get retrained because you can get their upgraded armor, which is excellent for us. Um, even the Principes. Oh, we didn't even use the Principes. Forgot about them. We want a peasant here to man the walls. These rebels might actually attack them. But what we're going to do is, next episode, guys, we are going to go mop up these guys. We're going to uh, sit in Cordoba until we can retrain. And bring these guys across. To take on Namidia. We will de destroy Namidia really quickly. Don't want the slingers. The slingers are trash. Um, but yes, we will bring them across to destroy Namidia as quick as we can. Where's his ship? Uh, no, we'll bring you down. 
Oh, that rebel fleet's going to attack us. That's going to be annoying. Need some more ships, really, don't we? Fantastic. You need to go to Carthage. Yeah, fantastic. Ah, Palmer expands. That's excellent. And Carolis. So, hmm. Do we have anything? What are we building then? You're building that. We, we could produce a building to get those upgrades going because... Well, we won't do, do that. We will get something cheap. What's cheap? Ah, yes, a shrine to Neptune. Very cheap. Get that. And we have enough for Palmer as well. Fantastic. And can we still recruit that ship? No, ships are 660. That's actually quite a lot. Mercenary captain for Gaius. Scipio. Fantastic. Gaius. Oh, Gaius the Harsh. Vanquisher. 10% popula pop popularity with the people. This man's many victories have made him popular and respectable, also targeting the eyes of his jealous compatriots. Yes. But yeah, we're upgrading these because of our enslavements, which is fantastic. We got them going very quickly. I keep saying fantastic. I need to stop. Making a lot of money now. But yeah, just before we go, guys, this uh, this turn we will still remember to kill them. We've got to remember that next episode. Let's have a look at our faction ranking. So overall ranking, let's go for... Uh, top five factions so that's egypt that's cool we'll add in the brutii and the julii as well which are down there they're not too bad that's parthia doing well wow um and i'm guessing the blue uh, the blues us sorry macedon black egypt uh the gauls gauls have taken a huge dive also adding carthage yeah look at that carthage absolutely destroyed by us Military ranking, well, Carthage is dead now, so they have nothing. Uh, but we are actually tied with the Brutii, kind of. Parthia, Julia, and Macedon have more. Egypt has a lot more. And Gauls have a ton more troops. Production ranking, we are right up there. Macedon and Egypt. Egypt took a dip, but then bang, straight back up. Territorial ranking, we are equal to Egypt now, so we're equal largest. The Gauls are going down. Obviously, Carthage down to nothing. Uh, Julia and Brutii sitting pretty on not many. Parthia, Macedon getting up there. Financial ranking. We're not huge. We're not very high. Not compared to, well, Carthage apparently, but no. Population, we are getting right up there. Near to Egypt, we already start with a very nice amount of cities to start with. So, there we have it, guys. We have expanded and destroyed Carthage in the second episode. Fantastic. And we are going to destroy Numidia very, very soon. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And hopefully, make sure you smash that like. Make sure you subscribe. All that good stuff. And I should see you again on the next video.